I gotta say big shout out to Joey, man. He wrapped these things tight, boy. Big shout out to the new plug. Follow me on Instagram if you want any information. That boy wrapped these things up nice and tight for me, man. But I think it's time for us to finally unwrap these sneakers. Let's get into this. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's Troublemaker Therapy, back with another review. Today, taking a look at the Heritage Ones. Unwrapped this time. Before I get into this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, you subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description. And if you haven't already taken advantage of the $500 giveaway, make sure you guys take advantage of that. I want to let you guys know that we're very, very close to 30,000 subscribers. We're less than 500 subscribers away. Salutes to all the new subscribers. Salutes to TikTok. TikTok has been a big help. Salutes to the early reviews. Salutes to the chats. Salutes to everything going on in my channel. Today, Heritage Wants. Beautiful, beautiful shoe, as you guys can see. The Heritage One does come with two pair of laces. We got the red laces, we got white laces. Now the thing about this shoe is, I've seen a couple of people reviewing them, and they have all these speculations that this is color blocking of a of a Travis Scott one that was supposed to come out, and the Travis Scott blue and white ones. No, this is a sample shoe from 1985, and the color blocking most definitely looks more like, voila, pay attention. Look at the color blocking. See that? The only difference is the white is white and the black is black on the Chicago one. I mean, on the, on the uh, bread ones, as you guys can see. That's what the color blocking mimics. The bread ones. Comment down below, let me know. Is this shoe a shoe that you plan on picking up? My bread one's a beat, boy. But yeah, that's exactly what they mimic. If you guys can see the tumble leather on the Nike sign on the bread, the back, uh, mine's got like triple necks on it. If you look at these, pretty much the same thing as you guys can see. Though it's Like I said, it's the color blocking of the bread ones and this is white instead of black. But if they were to paint this black, it'd just be a bread one, a modern day bread one. Not really a modern day bread one. It's pretty much the same thing as you guys can see. As you guys can see, and these are fire. These are fire. These will definitely, definitely sell out, man. Jordan brand is still wrecking shop like they always do every year. Let's take a look at the other shoe. Move this one out the way. Bring this one here. And man, I will be doing an on-foot review of these for sure. For sure. These are crazy, crazy fire, in my opinion. These are set to release sometime in April. They were supposed to release in March. Now they're saying it's in April. Like I said, the Heritage is pretty much a, a sample shoe of 1985. Is this a shoe you plan on copping? The red bottoms popping. Pretty nice, man. Pretty, pretty nice. I like them. I like them. Let me know if you like them. Let me see right here. Move these out the way. So you guys can see. You could really wear them like this, though. You get a what the vibe with the with the breads and the uh, heritage. You know what I'm saying? You could pretty, pretty much, you could pretty much rock them like that, and then you'd be good to go. You dig what I'm saying? Like I said, same color blocking. Mine is denim right there. No, it's not denim. It's like a wrinkled leather right there, as you guys can see. Let me see if I can. There we go. Uh, see that? But comment down below. Let me know how you feel about the shoe. Take advantage of that giveaway. We're almost at 30000 Troublemaker therapy. I'm out of here, y'all.